Fighting the chest of a ball to fight him. Left hand. At all times. Mike Tyson's invited. And there was an uppercut. What a shot. A classic right hook to the body, right uppercut combo put Rivalta down at the end of the second round. The sheer power of the uppercut would have been enough to send 99.9% .9 of every human on Earth to the Shadow Realm. Yet, to the crowd's surprise, Rivalta made it back to his feet with enough stability to slug it out until the end of the round. Acknowledging Rebalta's resilience, Tyson elected for the water in the basement approach in the next few rounds, hammering Jose to the body to try and soften his core. Tyson took his attacks upstairs by the end of the seventh, boxing with the same ferocity as he did in the first, throwing with the speed and power of a man that has barely broken a sweat. Right, he hit? Jose got the worst of that one. Wild piece goes, and Tyson is on top of him. There's a big right hand, and the ball is about to go. This is all his thing. Another big right hand, back to the body. There is no swing. Tyson seems shocked that Rivalta had made it to his feet again. Yet, instead of taking his feet off the gas and cruising to a unanimous decision, he wanted to entertain the fans by closing the show. Oh, another big left hand. That's a fighter. Oh, what a shot! And Rivalta's down! And that's it! Tyson knocked out Rivalta in the 10th in a manner I'm sure the great Customato himself would have been proud of. But as always, HBO's Larry Merchant was underwhelmed by his performance and grilled the aspiring champ in the post-fight interview. Since Mike, this guy was a tougher nut to crack than you thought, I bet. Very enough. He had his mind concentrating. He was going to fight, and he did well, and I commend him very dearly. What made him so tough? The fact that he fought back, unlike the other fighters who've taken you this far? Most definitely. He fought back, and he had um, the idea in his mind he wasn't going to get knocked out. But as you notice, he was knocked down, but wasn't knocked out because he had his mind conscious of that. Are there too many expectations of you, Mike? Do you think that if you don't, you're in a bind, that if you don't knock him out early, if you knock him out early, everybody says the other guy was a bum. If, if it goes this far, everybody says you weren't, you can't hit that hard. Well, what can I say? This happened. Tyson showed a lot of class in his response by simply acknowledging that Rivalta was as tough and game.